too, baby. I'm here on a south facing slope around 9,700 feet in the highlights. And when I was doing my, uh, my stability test, I got a compression test 23 quality one and then an extended column test also breaking at a 22 quality one on an ice crust. It's a thin ice crust, only about you know an inch or so thick, but w w on top of it was a layer of thin kind of near surface facets, just thin, small, faceted grains um, that are collapsing and propagating um, across. So this is, on this slope, this is definitely something I'm a little concerned with. Um, we've had a lot of warm temperatures, temperatures above freezing. Even today, you know, I'm guessing the air temperature is probably in the upper 30s. And yet, you know, we're seeing that the upper snowpack here is getting moist, but even just a foot or so down, this, the snow in here is dry, so we can't assume that just because we're getting warm temperatures that it's penetrating into the snowpack very far. When we have persistent weak layers like this, it can take a really long time for them to go away. So we're going to watch this. The facets down at the ground, we still have them, but they're not, they're not reacting in the stability tests on this slope.